the de Havilland Canada DHC-7, popularly known as the Dash-7, is a turboprop-powered regional airliner with STOL performance. It first flew in 1975 and remained in production until 1988 when the parent company, de Havilland Canada, was purchased by Boeing and was later sold to Bombardier. Bombardier sold the type certificate for the aircraft designed to Victoria-based manufacturer Viking Air in 2006. Design and Development In the 1960s, de Havilland Canada was already well known worldwide for their series of high-performance STOL aircraft, notably the very popular DHC-6 Twin Otter. However, these aircraft were generally fairly small and served outlying routes, as opposed to the busier regional airliner routes which were already well served by larger, higher performance turboprop aircraft such as the Fokker F-27, Fairchild F-27, Convair 580 and 600, and Hawker Sidley 748. The de Havilland Canada Company felt they could compete with these designs in a roundabout way. With their excellent STOL performance, their designs could fly into smaller airports located in city centers and smaller, outlying, more austere airports having runways that the other aircraft could not easily use. The original specification called for a 40-passenger aircraft with a fairly short range of 200 statute miles, operating from runways only 2,000 feet long. With new noise restrictions coming into effect throughout the 1970s, an aircraft tailored for this role would also have to be very quiet. Propeller thrust is a factor of blade length and cord and the speed at which it rotates. To meet these new regulations the new design used much larger propellers geared to rotate at a slower speed than is normally designed. Much of the problem sound from a typical propeller is generated at the tips of the blades which are rotating just beneath the speed of sound. By using overlarge propeller blades there is no need to have the blade tip reach near the speed of sound, and the RPM can therefore be reduced without sacrificing thrust. In reducing the RPM this noise is reduced substantially. The Dash 7 often landed with only 900 RPMs, and took off at only 1,210 RPMs. The propellers on the Dash 7 allow for feathering, a change in the blade angle to push more or less air as needed. This can be used to increase airspeed and climb rate while maintaining a constant RPM. In other respects, the new DHC-7 was essentially a larger, four-engine version of the Twin Otter, the general layout remained similar, with a high aspect ratio high mounted wing, most details of the cockpit and nose profile. Changes included the addition of cabin pressurization, landing gear that folded forward into the inner engine nacelles and a large T-tail intended to keep the elevator clear of the proposh during takeoff. The Twin Otter incorporated flaperons that drooped the ailerons as part of the flaps, but these were not included in the Dash 7 due to weight and complexity. Instead, the ailerons were reduced in size to allow more flap area, and were augmented with two sets of roll spoilers, or spolarons. The inboard roll spoilers operate at all speeds while the outboard roll spoilers only operate at speeds less than 130 kias to allow for more roll control at slower speeds. Upon touchdown, both the inboard and outboard roll spoilers extend in unison to aid in destroying lift created by the wing. Each wing also includes two ground spoilers which only extend on touchdown. Most of the trailing edge is spanned by a complex double fowler flap arrangement for high lift at low speed. During a typical STOL landing, flaps are selected to the 45 degree position allowing for steeper descents and slower approach speeds. Depending on weight, the VREF speed with flaps at 45 degree is between 70 to 85 knots. On touchdown, through squat switches in the main gear, the flaps automatically retract to the 25 degree position and thus reduce lift once on the runway producing better braking performance. The flaps also retract to 25 degree when engine power is increased during a go-around procedure. The four-engine layout aids lift at low speeds due to the wide span of the propellers blowing air over the wing. When reverse thrust is selected on landing, the props reverse pitch push air forward and slow the aircraft very effectively along with the anti-skid wheel brakes. More importantly, if an engine fails, the asymmetric thrust is much less than on a twin-engine layout, thereby increasing safety and allowing for a lower VMC with an engine inoperative. 
Operational history Development started in 1972 and the prototype first flew on March 27, 1975. Testing went smoothly, and the first delivery took place to Rocky Mountain Airways on February 3, 1978. The Dash 7 enabled Rocky Mountain Airways to operate scheduled passenger air service from Denver into the Avonstoll port in Colorado which was controlled by the airline. The Avonstoll port was located in a mountain valley in close proximity to the Vail Ski Resort. Another close-in ski resort airfield served by Rocky Mountain Airways with Dash 7 flights from Denver was Steamboat Springs Airport in Colorado. With a relatively short runway length of 4,452 feet and an airfield elevation of 6,882 feet, the Dash 7 was well suited for operations from this airport located in the Rocky Mountains. The Kapalua Airport on the island of Maui in Hawaii was constructed specifically with Dash 7 operations in mind. According to State of Hawaii historical records, Hawaiian Airlines built this airfield and then initiated scheduled passenger flights with new Dash 7 turboprops on March 1, 1987. The airline owned this private airport, which is also known as Kapalua West Maui Airport, until 1993 when it was acquired by the state of Hawaii. The 3,000-foot runway length at Kapalua was well suited for Dash 7 operations. The three-letter code for the Kapalua Airport, JHM, stands for John Henry Magoon who was president of Hawaiian Airlines when the airfield and terminal were constructed by the air carrier. Kapalua is currently served by Mokulil Airlines with Cessna 208 Grand Caravans. 100-7 turboprops were delivered by 1984, when the production line was put on hold in favor of the Dash 8. Another 13 were delivered between 1984 and 1988, when the production lines were removed when Boeing bought the company. The last Dash 7 was bought by Tyrolean Airways. The original Series 100 represents the vast majority of the aircraft delivered, and came in two models. The Minus 102 passenger version and Minus 103 combi with an enlarged cargo door. These were followed by the Series 110 which met British CAA requirements, including the Minus 110 and Minus 111, and finally the Series 150 which included additional fuel tankage and an improved interior in the Minus 150 and Minus 151. There were plans for a Series 200 with the new PT-6A 57th engines which improved hot and high power, but these plans were shelved when Boeing ended production of the design. The mixture of features on the Dash 7 met with limited commercial success. Most commuter airline turboprop operators used the aircraft as feed liners into large airports, where the STOL performance wasn't considered important. In comparison to other feed liners, the Dash 7's four engines required twice the maintenance of a twin-engine model, thereby driving up operational costs. Finally, those airports that did require a high-performance STOL operation were generally small and well served by the twin otters. Had the airport needed a larger plane to serve its customer base, they would have built larger runways. One exception to this was operations at London City Airport which, upon opening in 1987, was capable of handling few other aircraft types besides the Dash 7 due to its relatively short runway as well as steep approach. The runway at London City Airport was subsequently lengthened and now accommodates jet operations including scheduled airline flights operated with Airbus A318 and British Aerospace Bayer 146 jetliners. The Dash 7 also gained a number of military orders. The first of these was for two aircraft for the Canadian Armed Forces, who needed them to transport high-ranking passengers and freight around Europe. These aircraft received the CF designation CC-132 and were delivered to 412 Transport Squadron at Canadian Forces Base La, in West Germany. The United States Army operates several Dash 7 aircraft as surveillance platforms with the designation EO-5C under the Airborne Reconnaissance Low Program. Transport Canada operates a single DHC-7-150IR aircraft to conduct maritime surveillance pollution and ice patrols as part of the Transport Canada National Aerial Surveillance Program. The aircraft's home base is Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. 
During the summer months this aircraft conducts patrols throughout the Canadian Arctic, Alaska and Greenland. During the fall and winter months this aircraft conducts patrols of the Great Lakes and east or west coasts of Canada as required. The design of a much more conventional twin-engine design commenced at de Havilland in 1978, resulting in the extremely popular Dash 8. The DHC-7 production line eventually delivered 113, of which six have been lost and one scrapped. Many of the rest remain in service. Variants DHC-7-1, prototypes, two built. DHC-7-100, production passenger variant with a maximum of 54 passengers. DHC-7-101, production passenger cargo variant with a maximum 50 passengers and a left-hand forward cargo door. DHC-7-102, production passenger variant with a maximum of 54 passengers. DHC-7-103, production passenger cargo variant with a maximum of 50 passengers and a left-hand forward cargo door. DHC-7-110, DHC-7-102 certified for use in the United Kingdom. DHC-7-111, DHC-7-103 certified for use in the United Kingdom. DHC-7-150. Improved 1978 version with higher gross weight, increased fuel capacity and improved passenger amenities, DHC-7-150 IR, 1 Series 150 modified in 1986 for Transport Canada for ice pollution patrols of the Canadian Arctic. CC-132, Canadian military designation for the Series 102-103-05 AARLI. Converted by California Microwave Incorporated 1991-92, EO5 BARLC, United States Military Designation for Series 102, EO5 CARLM, converted by California Microwave Incorporated 1996, RC7 BARLM, redesignated EO5 C in 2004. Accidents and Incidents the de Havilland Canada DHC-7 has been involved in six accidents with a total of 68 fatalities. April 28, 1982, Arava as Nationales de Honduras DHC-7-103 hijacked at La Ceiba Golas on International Airport in Honduras with no loss of life. May 9, 1982, Alyemda DHC-7-103 crashed into sea near Aden International Airport in Yemen killing 23 of 49 on board. June 23, 1982, Henson Airlines DHC-7 hijacked at Staunton Shenandoah Valley Airport, in Virginia with no lives lost. February 15, 1983, Rio Airways Flight 252 DHC-7-102 hijacked at Nuevo Laredo, Mexico with none of 20 on board injured. May 6, 1988, Widera E Flight 710 DHC-7-102 crashed on a hillside during poor weather near Braunen A. Isomd Airport in Norway, killing 36 on board. November 28, 1998 DNK Aviation Leasing Group DHC-7-102 crashed after engine fell during a test flight near Ashburton, United Kingdom killing the crew of July 2, 23, 1999, U.S. Army DHC-7-102 crashed into mountain near Orito in Puchamayo Province in Colombia killing all seven on board. September 7, 1999, Skyline DHC-7-102 damaged from belly landing at Port Harcourt Airport in Nigeria with 19 on board. September 4, 2002, Asian Spirit Flight 897 DHC-7-102 slid off runway at Manila 9 Oyakino International Airport with 49 on board. May 1, 2006, Trans Capital Air for United Nations Mission in Liberia DHC-7-102 crash-landed at Sweju Airport in Liberia after landing gear failed to extend, with 40 on board uninjured. Operators equals Airline and other operators equals As of April 27, 2012, a total of 47-7 aircraft remain in airline and other services. Canada, Air Tindy, Trans Capital Air Transport Canada, Voyager Airways, Egypt, Petroleum Air Services, Indonesia, 
Palita Air Service, Kenya, Air Kimu Express, Malaysia, Bajaya Air, United Kingdom, British Antarctic Survey, Venezuela, Lineage Heuristical Aerotui. Equals former operators equals Australia, Jetcraft Aviation, Austria, Tyrolean Airways, Canada, Airbc, City Express, Time Air, Wara, Colombia, Helical, Guatemala, Avians Comciales de Guatemala, or copyright Ruruta Maya, Honduras, Zaza, Israel, Aka, New Zealand, Ansett New Zealand, Nigeria, Skyline, Norway, Widera is Flyvasilskop. DNK Aviation Leasing Group, Papua New Guinea, Air Nijni, Philippines, Asian Spirit, Zest Airways, Slovenia, Adria Airways, Tanzania, Regional Air Services, United Kingdom, Bryman, London City Airways, United States, Air Pacific, Air Wisconsin, Atlantic Southeast Airlines, Continental Express, Delta Connection and Rio Airways, Era Aviation, Four West Airlines, Golden Gate Airlines, Golden West Airlines, Hawaiian Airlines, Henson Airlines, Mark Air Express, Maverick Airways, Pan Am Express, Paradise Island Airlines, Ransom Airlines, Rio Airways, Rocky Mountain Airways, Worldwide Launch Customer, Ross Aviation, Trans World Express, Venezuela, Conviasa, Yemen, Al Yemda. Equals other civilian operators equals. The British Antarctic Survey operates a single Dash 7 in support of its research program in Antarctica. The aircraft undertakes regular shuttle flights between either Stanley on the Falkland Islands, or Punta Arenas in Chile, and the Rothera Research Station on Adelaide Island. It also operates to and from the ice runway at the Sky Blue Logistics Facility on the Antarctic mainland. A single DHC 7150IR is owned and operated by Transport Canada conducting coastal pollution and ice patrols across the Canadian Arctic. Equals military operators equals Canada, Canadian Forces, United States, United States Army, Venezuela, Venezuelan Navy. Specifications Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft 1982 Euro 83, General Characteristics, Crew. 2. Capacity, 50 passengers, length, 80 feet 73 of 4 in, wingspan, 93 feet 0 in, height, 26 feet 2 in, wing area, 860 square feet, aspect ratio, 10 1, empty weight, 27,690 pounds, max takeoff weight, 44,000 pounds, power plant, 4 a, Pratt & Whitney Canada.6 A50 turboprops, 1120 shp each performance maximum speed 231 knots range 690 me service ceiling 21000 feet rate of climb 1120 feet per minute see also related development de Havilland Canada DHC6 twin otter de Havilland Canada DHC8-8 aircraft of comparable role configuration and era Antinovan 24, ATR 42, Convair 540,600 640, Dornier 328, Fokker F 27, Hawker Sidley 748, Saab 340. Related lists List of STOL aircraft, List of airliners. References Equals Notes Equals Equals Bibliography Equals External Links the Dash 7 homepage, de Havilland DHC 7 7.